Hi, my name is Judge, and welcome to the 13th episode of YouTube Only Arena. I know what you're thinking. 13. Probably going to be a 13-win run. You're exactly right. Let's get in there. I'm thinking I'm going to draft, like, the most busted druid you've ever seen in your life today. Eh? Maybe that? That's what I want. That's what I want. Druid, busted, it's the best class. There it is, right there. It says it says 44.8, but uh, Elise is a paladin in her spare time, I suppose. Druid it is. Busted Druid. There we go. This is what happens when you change your uh, hero skins all the time. It gets confused. I'm a student of the forest and a teacher to many. Well, if you're a teacher to many, perhaps teacher's pet is the way to go. Really, really strong card on its own. Plus, if you're lucky enough to get a uh, Razor Mane Battle Guard, the two mana two three that... Makes your taunt, first taunt each turn, cost you less. It becomes even better. Interesting. Grim Necro is probably the best card here. Dark Moon Rabbit is, like, a little tempting because epic offering rates are still uh, through the roof. So you see a lot of rabbits, and you also see a lot of clowns. So the idea of corrupting your clowns is up there. But for Druid, and this early in the draft, you know, I might not get Clowns, and then I'll be sad I didn't take the better Grim Necromancer. It's a 4-mana, well-statted minion that goes wide. You, you have a lot of token buffs in Druid. Grim Necro seems to be absolutely fine. Oh my god. Oh my god! That card's really good. That card is really good, and this card has synergy with it. Sewer Crawler actually is, is a fine 3-drop in, in Druid. It's okay. We'll take the Grounds Keeper. We just picked up the Arbor. Um, one mana three four sometimes if you have your arbor, cool. Not as good as just a four mana five seven. All right, we got, we got some really good uh, fours and fives right now to start, so that that part is covered. Work of the wild over sewer crawler. Do I just want a three drop at this point? Do I just want a three drop? I think it's early enough. I can take the mark and, and pick up threes later. Drew to the plains. My goodness. My goodness. If this, okay, if this draft keeps going like this, th this will be insane. I, I swear to God, I, I not pre-recorded. I do these live. I, I swear to you. Uh, bomb lobber's great, and yeah, seems like we could use it. The threes aren't good enough. Through the scrolls, through the scrolls is good. It discover me a nice uh, survival. The fittest hog rancher is great, and we need threes uh, rather badly right now. Oh come on. Oh, come on. I would love a one. I would love a one. I, I, it's never Trajo for me here. I, I've just been finding that any card that says discover or random has just been kind of like necessary. Spells are really tough to find right now in this last couple of weeks. I think I'm going to go with the studies over the... Uh, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Studies over, over the one drop. I was going to say it can make your arbor up cost four. Now it can make either of these arbors cost four. Easy peasy. I don't know if you ever skip Arbor up. Wand Maker is great. Love a nice Wand Maker. More nature studies. We just need to focus on curve now, right? We just need twos and threes. Like, our late game is honestly kind of fine. We're not going to have a late game if we have two Arbors. Ah, uh, DID. Last four. I mean, DID is just so much stronger than these. I said focus on curve. That's still reasonable. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Mark of the Wild, DID, double Arbor. Is this egg druid? You know, if, if I take this Nuruvian egg, it's it's going to be in the thumbnail probably, right? Like, I'll, I'll have, like, arbor up background with, like, some Nuruvian eggs around, maybe. Because of all the times I'm going to egg arbor. Don't need We don't need fours. I just said last four. We do not need this. We got two arbors. Let's go for it. Interesting. Okay. I should probably take the two drop here. What do we have? We have one maker. That's it. And on four, we have like four good four drops halfway through. Berserker is the best card, but uh, we need to lighten this up here. Let's grab the hyena. Grab the raven over the BGH. Another teacher's pet is insane. Two teacher's pets, two arbors. Sneaky Delinquent versus a Big Chungus. Smug Senior's real nice. Imagine two Teacher's Pets and a Smug if we do find a Razor Moon Battle Guard. But, I mean, our game plan is just going to be land early game, plan Arbor up, right? And Sneaky Delinquent is great at 
at uh, waiting for a nice arbor. Or spectral, even, right? Really, really strong card. We need threes, man. We need threes. We just have Hog Rancher at the moment. Aina, Wandmaker, yeah. I think the two is more important than the Smug here. Uh, man, that's, that's so strong, but we gotta take the three, right? We gotta take the three. We need threes so badly here. And the, the card quality is just so good, right? The card quality is so good. We just need to make sure we're we're taking those three drops. Branching paths. Seems like I'm, I'm fine with my arbor ups instead of branching paths. Let's grab a two drop. We got a couple more threes. I was gonna say a couple more threes and a couple more, uh, late, uh, maybe a one or two more late game cards. Unfortunately, just absolutely piling the twos. It'd be really nice to see um, Maybe a little adorable infestation could help fill in the curve and make these curve twos good. I mean, we want lots of light stuff with two arbors, but we need three drops. Trog, sure. Ooh. Offered a ton of fives. Um, Hobgoblin? Do we have any synergies with Hobgoblin? No, right? So easy Fell Reaver. Fell Reaver, one of the most underrated cards. Look at that win rate, first of all. I still, I, I tell people all the time how good Fell Reaver is. It's a five minute eight eight win most of the time with no downside, most of the time with no downside. But it's just those games like the one in 25 games where you get absolutely blown up and, and uh, your opponent freezes your whole board and you lose your deck and lose in fatigue. People see that once and go, oh, the card is bad. It's like that happens so rarely. It's a five minute eight eight huge stats. Um, how many games actually go to fatigue? Not very many. So you just imagine all the cards you, you got rid of were at the bottom of your deck anyway, and it's, it's just a really strong card. Not that we need strong fives. Oh no, double egg. I gotta take the Death Warden, right? <laughs> oh no, double egg, double arbor is so damn tempting. <laughs> oh, that is so tempting. It's, it's so tempting. That thumbnail. But I need threes. I need threes. Death Warden. Death Warden has high health for Arbor. We have two three drops. Uh, Wandmaker sort of is kind of like a three. Uh, Nature Studies could make Mark one a uh, one cost for turn three. Two Arbors, two eggs. I don't think it's correct. I think the correct pick is Death Warden. I'm just debating on whether I want to do this for fun. And it just like, you know, come on, two eggs? And it's actually good, right? It's actually pretty good. They're not gonna trade into these. Fuck it. We're doing it. Oh my good lord. <laughs> Do I, I have to take it, right? Three arbors? Two eggs, three arbors? <laughs> what is going on? Is it ever the wand maker here? Right? I just turned down to three when I probably shouldn't have, but I just turned down to three. Wand makers fill in that, that, three spot there I could definitely see a world where one maker is the right pick I, we're probably just taking the arbor come on three arbors you don't need to hit a turn three when you have three arbors do you my goodness it may be this but I, I I'll just get offered a one maker next pick arbor up replicatatron as well getting in on it getting a little replicat action yeah, I am on board for that. We have Mark of the Wild, Arbors. Our curve is light enough. It's not going to be... We don't have many tokens. We have a Grim Necro. That's really good with it. If you've watched uh, my previous videos, slash you've watched my how to play with Replicatatron, you know my thoughts on Replicat is the card is amazing. One of the best cards. It's a, it's a top tier card. I think, I think we love a nice Replicat in this deck. Chanted Raven to fill in curve nicely. Uh, you know, this is fine with Hog Rancher. It's really good with Hog Rancher. But we need ones and threes. We need odd cost cards to fill in these early turns. Uh, surely we don't need a Twilight Runner. Here's the, here's the problem, though. Here's the problem, though. Like, we don't need fives at all, right? We have so many five cost cards, including Arbors, which you can play on an empty board, and it's still fine stats. You got Murloc Tidehunter for the uh, for the replicat, which is nice too. Thing is, is, we don't need we don't need twos or fours either, right? We don't need any of these costs. Look at our curve here: two, four, five, and we have all all the stuff we could need. Will I need cards? 
I guess it's possible. Uh, I, ideally, you're just finishing the game in the mid game with arbors. But I, I don't really need twos. I guess we got to remember a couple of our twos are eggs. So what are the twos we're playing on? Still, Cub, Hyena, Sneaky, Trog, Wandmaker. We don't need it. I guess we can just grab the runner. Do you know being insane? Um, I was going to say Guardian Animals. I was going to say Guardian Animals. Here we go again. Double fives. But we do have Ravens. Double fives? Come on, man. Arbor, Arbor, Arbor. Fell Reaver, Bomb Lobber, Teacher's Pet, Teacher's Pet, Twilight Runner. I don't need a five. This is an Innervate. All day, this is an Innervate. Our whole thing is that we have a little bit of an awkward curve on particular, particular uh, turns, right? So how do you deal with that? You skip that turn with an Innervate. We get an earlier Arbor? Like, this, this is just no Kappa. This is just Innervate all day. Last pick is a second Druid of the Plains. Don't need twos, it's just threes. All right, the card quality in this is absolutely bananas. Um, I No regrets on the double egg. No regrets, this is gonna be great. Mark of the Wild, Triple Arbor, Double Pet, Double Druid of the Plains, Twilight Runner. The card quality is insane. 75 rated deck might be the highest rated deck I've had in months. How did I call? I called this right at the beginning of the video. I'm like, this is going to be, it's going to be a busted, busted druid. Only problem is missing turn three can cost you the game, even if you have good, good quality. So we'll keep our eye out for, uh, you know, we, we might even be getting rid of twos in the mulligan, trying to find those ones and threes. The innervate can help us out there. The nature studies and the wand maker can help us out. Insane, insane quality. Let's fire it up. Here we go. Egg Arbor. Egg Arbor. Egg up. Sunny side up, Druid. Cub, Hyena, Druid of the Plains. Hmm. Looked like we were going first there, didn't it? Going first. We definitely don't want to keep two two drops going first. So we'll, we'll keep the Hyena really, really strong too. And look for... Some ones, some threes, couple fives is not exactly what I want to see. Grim Necro. See, this is where, like, potentially the Innervate becomes an okay top deck kind of idea. You play the Hyena, then you can Innervate out of four into another four sometimes, more likely than hitting those threes. Boin. They kept their full hand. Oof, that is a tough way to start the run. Um, Hyena or Sneaky? Let's make it tougher for them to play their, like, uh, two threes. Let's make it tougher for them to play their two threes. It's probably gonna be just Hyena next anyway. Full keep, coin vile fiend. Scary, scary stuff. Okay. That's less scary. They go for a value card right after playing such good tempo, and they nail it. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Unreal. Like, that's such a... You coin a tempo card. And what you want to do is you want to keep the tempo... You want to keep the pressure on after starting with such a good tempo card. Instead, they go for a value card and hit... Just the per Like, a perfect tempo play. Like, that's so lucky. So, obviously, we're, we're, if we're going to play this, we got to trade. You, you could just hero power. You could just hero power coming to this. Hero powering on turn three is pretty terrible. Let's see if our uh, mid to late game quality is just so strong that we can catch up because we are pretty far behind after that. Got some good cards coming. Whew. Okay, this is not Frost. Not Frost. Not Frost. Probably Fire. Maybe Combustion, Flame Strike. What else is common right now? There's like studies and stuff. Arcane or fire. Okay. That's a lot of removal. Uh, 5 mana 8-8 eight, eight is really good stats, but it's a bit of an awkward board for it. You probably just go for the bomb lobber here. Try to just contain this board until you're Druid of the Plains. Coming to this later. Next turn, triple twos. 
Special delivery hit not the 2 2. Sure. Either that or the 3 3. Either, either one of those is fine. I mean, if, we, if we're going to draw an Arbor soon, we're going to, you know, that's going to be a 3 3 anyway. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if they want an Arbor here because they have the board. They very well might. Really strong deck we're seeing uh, at O&O. That's kind of been the norm uh, for the last while. Really strong. Yeah, they do want an Arbor, and we are screwed. <laughs> Look at how good this deck is. Just getting absolutely steamrolled. <laughs> we're done. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. We're, we're finished. I gotta, I gotta kill that. Okay, they play Arbor. They get a couple 4-3s. And this would have six. So I'd put this in attack mode, maybe? Like, we get the three one. We get the stuff that matches into it well. And just hero power this away. So, like, this. 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 Knowing that it's very likely Arbor coming. And these two do well against the four threes. We also keep this stealth for our own potential Arbor. But let's see, let's see if they just slam it and trade. Because it's still a lot of stats, even though we have a reasonable couple of answers. They don't. They go for the fish first. Very interesting. So you're, you're going to have to develop something after this, right? Because otherwise we just slam the arbor and make the trade. Now we just make the trade anyway. They're just trying to get as much as they can on this board. And now we come in with Druid of the Plains. I guess this is always being transformed anyway, so it doesn't really matter what it hits. So make sure we're getting rid of this. Yeah, you just get rid of the fish. Very, very strong card drew to the plains. See what they do here. They have the option of fish hero power. That's pretty slow though. Probably two drop arbor. Two drop arbor. No, they go for the poison. They go for the poison. Hmm. That's pretty solid. That handles the 6-7 pretty well. That handles the 6-7 pretty well. This is just hilarious. We're just playing uh, Arbor Up Chicken. I feel like they probably should have just slammed that Arbor as soon as they could. Look for something with Wandmaker first. I want to get wide, of course. Hmm. Two damage. That means I could hero power and just remove the board and develop, what, the Frozen Shadow Weaver? Make sure they have nothing. They come in with a fish. That trade has to happen. There's not much I can do about that. And yeah, I guess we do this, this. Make sure they have nothing on the board. Develop the three. And see what we do next turn. Now we're the ones who have the uh, advantage with the arbor up here. I could see a fish and a value trade since we froze our face. So they could go like fish, value trade into the 2 2, and then develop a another 4. That'd be pretty strong. Mmm, they go into the 4 3. I don't know, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. And now we've got a really good DID arbor. And it's, I think it's time. I think it's time. DID, Arbor up. Make sure you do this so you can kill this thing off. And let's see if they have a Flame Strike. Let's see if they have a Flame Strike. They got spell damage for days. Thanks for the Arbor, South Sea Scoundrel. See, South Sea Scoundrel's great, but if you're gonna give me an Arbor, you need to make sure you're getting yours down. Like, first, right? I think they should have slammed it immediately. Really strong card in Scorp. Oh no, games, man. Oh no, games. This is pretty wild. What to do? What to do? Yes. Uh, that's fine. Oh, that's less fine. Steward of Scrolls, help me. 
Steward of Scrolls Nature Studies could find another arbor. Um, this is a little awkward though. Probably start with the nature studies. Would I play Survival of the Fittest? We know they have an arbor, so we gotta really be thinking about how we're handling the board. Nature studies, finds, mark, which is nice. Um, meaning we can make some trades. We could even hero power. I could go mark here, trade, 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 hero power. I think our deck is, is good enough that we can just control, if we control their board, we can control the game. So if I do that, mark hero power, would leave me at six? I mean, I can play four two maybe. Instead of steward. We just play this on the Fell Reaver, I think it is. Could also consider leaving that. Taking a lot of damage to the dome, though. Taking a lot of damage to the dome, though, with these two cards. So let's just remove their board. No arbor for you. And this is keeping a lot of stats. The hero power. We got Fell Reaver Steward. And we're looking at some pretty good top decks in theory, right? I mean, two arbors, two teacher spets, Twilight Runner, Druid of the Plains, still in the deck. But, uh, we'll see. Hero power comes down. Another Frost Weave Dungeoneer. Wow. No Frost? No Frost again. No Frost again. Still really strong, though. And there's the Arbor. They just have to get it down eventually. There it is. It matches well into the 2-4. Steward, what's inside here? Uh, nature Studies? I could just take a Germination, but that's, uh, that's a lot of... A lot of damage coming out. I could Germination my Fell Reaver, in theory. I think I'm gonna go for the Nature Studies and try again here. But maybe next turn? Am I just playing the Fell Reaver now? Say goodbye to my deck? That's a tight one. Nature Studies Arbor would be ideal. Nature Studies Arbor would be ideal. If I take Nature Studies, I kind of force myself to have to play whatever whatever it is, right? They have spells, spells. Mage spells, freeze. I think I'm gonna go for this. Lunar. Lunar's pretty good. Lunar is pretty good. Resizing Pout for next turn into, like, Alex or, or something is, is always an idea as well. That's close. That's close. Let's go with the Pouch route here, and we'll go... I guess it'd be a 10. Would I want to keep this to make it a 9? Yeah, go like this. I think I just need to get my stats out there. A 10 drop should be fine, too. It's not as good as a 9, I don't think. But there are some pretty good 10s as well. I could top deck a, a, a Raven, but I think I just need these stats on the board when I'm at really 11 health here. Seems like we're losing. I need, uh, I need another armor. I need a teacher's bet. Hmm. Mage Secret as well? Oh, no way, dude. That's better. I want to play this first. I want to play this first. Resizing Pouch is better to hit a 9. We can get you Sarah. Um, we can get you Sarah. Still might be dead. But we can get Alastraza, or, uh, yeah, we can get Alastraza here, which would be huge. Could be counter. Yeah, we need Alex. Uh, we need Alex. The Nazoth is good. But this is what we need right this second, right? We've got Beasts. I've got an Elemental that could die right now. I don't have anything with Rush, though, right? It's gotta be Alex. Oh, that's pretty strong, man. Hey, hey! I want you in the middle. Alright, a fireball ends the game. I mean, this was just a wild 0-0 match. Wild 0-0 match. Crazy deck here. And they have the deep freeze as well. Holy, man. Unreal. We could have used a couple more. I mean, we get the one arbor literally from our opponent. Oh, I bet they wish they would have saved their secret. Just kidding. I mean, they got that because they played a secret. Pretty scary card, though. Mark of the Wild? Mark of the Wild on the Frozen? On this, I guess? No real option? Hey. 
and hope they don't have an answer. It's a pretty good draw. It's a pretty good draw. Let's see if they have an answer to the uh, to the taunt. How many arbors do you think we say goodbye to? Both of them right away? Tenna's gonna be frozen. But if they don't have an answer from hand to deal with it, we might be fine here. A little bit of luck with this uh, mech could actually help us. That is an answer. See ya, Arbor. See ya, Teacher's Pet. Typical. Typical. Double fish? Yeah, typical. El Arbor and Teacher's Pet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. And what else? Jeez, these unstable portals are killing us here. Twilight Runner is going to put us into fatigue nice and quickly. Um, we're, we're alive, so that's good. I'm assuming that 5-5 five five is coming into the 8-5 if you don't have lethal. So let's just do this. I mean, if we get one attack and it's into Druid of the Plains, that could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. Hmm, that's obviously annoying, as intended. That means they're just gonna go face, right? You're gonna push face here? There's a tight one. There's a tight one. Sky Golem means they can push face. That's so good, man. That's so good. I need Druid of the Plains. I need Druid of the Plains? Desperately. Oh, I gotta go for I gotta go for Druid of the Plains. I've got to attack with this into the taunt. Because if I have to trade with this, like there's just no way, right? I get this. It's either that or I hero power. We're in the eight five in here. I need the druid, man. Or I run I run the eight five in here, I trade this off. I play the groundskeeper, which this six needs to trade into. But I, I just don't think that's good enough. In fact, I should probably even go face. Um, and see and like just make them deal with the taunt and have lethal. So I think we hero power here and we do this first And there it is there it is that is huge That is huge. Do I lose to a Silas? I do do I lose to I lose to a rabbit as well? Let's go like this We can double trade. I don't trade the one, two. If they draw a secret, I mean, I'm screwed, but they draw a removal. This is so close. This is a good game, even if we lose this game. It's crazy we're seeing this at zero, zero, but it's a, it's a really good game. Trade, let's see, the four. It's reasonable. You gotta be careful, because we're coming into fatigue now with this with this uh, runner. Like, this could be our last turn for draws, and they're gonna be pushing that face damage. We have lethal set up on the board, though. Do you not have an answer? That's not an answer. That's not an answer? Oh, baby. <laughs> what a game. What a game. We got lucky at the end there getting the Druid of the Plains, right? 40% chance of success, and we and we nail it. Oh, and uh, the Mark of the Wild draw was huge. I think our opponent might have had a better chance if they played their Arbor up earlier, but what a, what a game number one. Holy. Look at those lists. Look at those lists. Insane game. 1 0. <laughs> On to the next. We might have just seen the best game of the entire run right off the bat there. We get into fatigue there too. We, we got rid of a few cards with Fell Reaver, but I feel like this deck is not one that's going to see fatigue that often, right? Like Triple Arbor, the, the games are going to go a little quicker than that for the most part, I'd, I'd think. Demon Hunter, Hidden Squid. Nope, 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 nope. Tempting to keep teacher's pets, they're so strong and you have the coins, but we just have so many strong fives that we, we need to toss it. Even if they're arbors, you probably you probably toss probably toss them both. May definitely one, but maybe even both. Never coining here, right? It's gonna be a two into a three into a coin five. Ah, uh, perfect draw, perfect draw. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to offer up the Trog. I can play this now and uh, just hog the 3-2 next, and that's really nice. Hmm. 
Okay. Three mana, three, four? I mean... Still hog. It's a little awkward. I could just freeze this, keep the board even. Like, if I play the Hog Rancher, it might be, like, looking like I should hero power next turn with this. I do have a, I do have more twos. I could do, like, double twos, including hero power. Maybe I freeze this? I could freeze the three two and the next turn play Trog and Hog, the old Trog and Hog. Mm, let's, 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 let's just play this. Let's just play this. Run the two on in, chill here, and see what they do. Because I, I don't want to just, like, commit myself to exactly one turn when I have so many options coming up here. Could even just be Slam the Fell Reaver. Say goodbye to all your Arbors again. That card is really good. That card is really, really strong and makes our 3-1 pretty, pretty bad here. Guys, remember the card Swipe? That was nice. Uh, coin the Twilight Runner? Chill coming to Arbor. Are, do we have enough health to do that? Do we have enough health to do that? Because if I do that, we, we're only clearing the one ones next turn. That could be a little risky. We've got five attack. It's all going face. We're down to sixteen. I clear two next. They have three and something. But we have a lot of stats coming to a freeze after the Arbor. Maybe I should coin the freeze on the 3-4. I could coin freeze here, drop the trog, and then see if they use those 1-1s one and a hero power to kill the 2-3. If they, if they do that, this is better, right? This is just better. Makes for a better arbor. Even though they don't have stealth, it's, it's just better tempo. Don't have to worry about our face as much. Cool. Cool. That 3 1 comes in over here. We make the other two value trades. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're not getting all the perfect trades, but this is just insane. Insane amount of stats. And it's too early for cycle. It's too early for cycle. So in order to play around the turn 7 cycle of Hatred, we'll just top deck another Arbor up to turn all those 3 healths into 4. Uh, that's pretty good, but it's a little awkward on this board. Are you just going to go all face, or like, what's the plan? Uh, Guardian Og's really strong. That's good. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, but I, I don't think it's enough to catch up to an Arbor, right? Hmm. Playing a little off curve here, unless we do Steward. By Steward, I just double trade there. They have the 4 2 weapon. So many contradictions. Yeah, so many contradictions. I could go triple twos in theory. I don't think that's good enough. That was a really good Guardian Og. Special delivery. Keep a 3 3 and a 4 1. At least our face is healthy. Face is healthy, cycle's no good, but we get into the territory now on turn seven where Demon Hunter uh, has the opportunity to play some pretty disgusting cards. Um, they have a weapon equipped coming into turn eight, so Illidari Inquisitor becomes absolutely terrifying. It's a strong turn. Strong looking deck here too, honestly. Felsteel Executioner, Renowned Performer, Guardian Og. That's more like it. Probably double stealth here. I could go for the Fell Reaver, maybe. Let's see what we draw. Sure, that's fine. 4 1 comes into the 3 3. Um, I definitely want to play a couple of things. Is it is it Druid? That's a great draw. Is it that, though, and let them clear it and only keep a 4 1? It's probably not. We're taking 8 damage, maybe 16, if this is Illidari Inquisitor. I feel like you can't really just be playing around Illidari Inquisitor, though. Like, that card is just, like, all the time. The card is just insane. So, it would be... Fel Reaver, Spectral, probably. Trade here. They go double face, like Druid of the Plane comes in on the 4-2. And the Fel Reaver contests... 
the Illidari Inquisitor. If they do go Illidari Inquisitor all face, we're still tech we're still alive. And then we go Druid of the Plane into the 4-2 and 8-8 into the 8-8. And we're, we're alive at the very least. Pretty good top deck. Pretty good top deck. Oh my. But are you not going to... Okay. Okay, so the 3-1 lives, actually. This becomes actually a little weaker because of their other card. And we are looking completely fine. What do we get rid of? It doesn't really matter. Replicat! Replicat! No! Rip, dude. All right, a little bit of this. Is it the same? It's the same, right, for Druid? Guess I'll start with Nature Study, see if there's something better. Um, I mean, how many beasts? I, I, Living Seed is amazing with Druid of Teacher's Teachers. Not so good with Raven Raven. You just take Solar here. Wrenching paths for armor? I guess there's like all winning paths. I'm thinking we have we have two Arbors and 12 cards, so Solar Arbor. But I guess we actually don't need two Arbors. One Arbor is winning us the game. So let's just do this, this. And with this card draw and this discovery, next turn we probably just drop like the Runner and then just gain 12 armor, why not? They win by top decking multiple Illidaris. That's kind of, that's kind of it. Oh. Well. Well, I guess they didn't have multiple Illidaris in the deck. Nice stuff. Two. Oh. This deck is quite nice. Juice. Juice Shaman. Uh-oh. Juice Shaman. Hmm. <laughs> This is a pretty, this is a pretty okay start. Raven into Egg, into Nature Studies, into something, into Coin Fell Reaver, Nature Studies 2. I think I'm gonna toss the Fell Reaver to look for threes and arbors, but it is a, a potential keep. It's kind of only because we have so many strong fives, right? I, I'd often keep Fell Reaver. All right, time to arbor up some eggs. I'll take my eggs, arbor side up, please. Raven first, always uh, tempo over value. Plus, we don't want to just burn our discount on the coin. Um, I don't think there's a need to coin double twos when your follow up is such a D tempo in egg, and when you have the arbors, you might want to coin out. We miss our turn three. I think you just you just play this. Hold the coin. Are you telling me that we get to pay one mana for a 2-2? Two -two? Oh, where are my arbors at, man? Where are my arbors at? All right. All right. Arbor off the top. Arbor off the top. Or we can just go coin innervate nature studies arbor, right? Just get an arbor from nature studies if you're good. Mm, Berserker. Berserker, Berserker, Berserker. So, coin Berserker into Grim Necro. No need to show our opponent our Innervate. They, they know we have the coin. They don't know we have the Innervate, so no need to give them that information. And the Innervate now looking like it's it's potentially just going to be used for Innervate Raven Arbor, right? Just make sure you get an, a, some extra stats. That's really, really terrible. It's quite bad. We'll just drop the, the Grim Necro here. We'll just drop the Grim Necro here. Innervate Raven doesn't really add too much to this board. We're already pretty far ahead in stats. And uh, it might... Innervate's looking worse and worse as time goes on here, but it, it could still be used for, like, a Druid of the Plains. Me too. Give me my Arbors, man. I drafted three of them, you know. I drafted three of them, you know. Huh. Okay. Well, this ogre is going to be renamed Egg Killer. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. 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 What are you going to do? Lightning storm me? I'd like to see that happen. I got two freaking eggs, dude. What are you going to do? Trade the 5-5? Five, five? 
are you gonna do? Trade the 5-5? Five five? Miss? Hit my eggs? Come on. The power of the double egg. Oh, so close. So close. I thought he was going for my right egg there. For the wilds, you do indeed have a nature spell. Maybe they have a corrupted dunk tank, but they're too scared because my eggs. Look how good these freaking eggs are. Can I have an arbor? That's a... I accept that. That's fine, too. I mean, you're gonna iron bark your egg one day, I guess. Should I run the 1-1 one -one in here? Probably. Just in case they do, you know, 50-50. If they hit this, I kind of want it to just die. Um, and don't be debated into innervating out your iron bark here, because the moment you play innervate, your iron bark will now cost two mana. Since you use up your nature studies discount on the innervate play. Could have gone like innervate or, or iron bark first and innervated the teacher's bet, but I don't think that's worth it. Sure, that's uh, honestly kind of like a, almost like a waste of a card here, I'd, I'd say. Basilisk is gross. Arbor me. Arbor me. Like, our deck is heavy enough. We're going to be drawing well nearly every turn here, right? Come on. We're out of steam, but like, look how much steam the deck has. Quite a bit. Two Druid of the Plains. More five-cost beasts. A ginormous Fell Reaver. All right. It's amazing. I've got three Arbor Ups. And, uh, you know, it's just... We've seen the Fell Reaver every game, and these Arbors have been... You know, when you have three, you expect to be drawing them a little more often, I'd say. The first game, we only got one because uh, our opponent gave it to us. Okay. This could get hexed anyway, so I don't really want to uh, Iron Bark it. This comes in here. This comes down. This comes down. One five egg. I care about this. This actually can't die. So I'm not really worried about it into like Lightning Storm or it into Tidal Wave. All right, what are we getting rid of? Goodbye, deck. What are we getting rid of here? Get rid of Scrolls. Goodbye, Hecklefang Hyena. Goodbye, Replicatatron. Why? And Groundskeeper. Those are actually pretty good ones to get rid of. We still have plenty of fives and sevens. What else? Is Devolve in? Is Devolve in? I think Devolve is in. Is Devolve in? I don't know if Devolve is in. Lightning Stromp! Arbor, no! Double Arbor? Double Arbor, dude? And Twilight Runner? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. I'm so bad at card game. This is going face. This is probably trading. This is going face. Both cards left. They have two. We're not losing our whole deck. We're setting up lethal, though, right? Are we? Nine damage? Nine, 13? Yeah, that's setting up lethal. So, this. I don't even think you pop the egg here. You just leave that taunt. This innervate was not super good this game. I must admit. What else? That was their nature spell, right? Discovered? Oh no, did they just discover that lightning storm? So do, do they have another nature spell? No, healing rain. Healing rain was their nature spell. They live. See you later, Druid of the Plains. See you later, Steward of Scrolls. See you later, Wand Maker. Tough ones. Lightning Bloom. <laughs> okay. See you later, uh, Weaver. Druid of the Plains number two. And the Hex to finish it off. Excellent. Uh, we keep the Arbor, though. That's got to hurt. That's got to hurt for our opponent. We keep, we, we keep the one Arbor. They're out of cards. Get the Healing Totem. Hog Rancher, you say. Hog Rancher, you say. I probably just need this power right now. We leave the 4-3 up. In that case, it could just deal an extra damage to the face and leave the 2-2 two -two up. Give them the spell damage. They're top decking. Things are like this is looking really good for us here. Just a matter of what we want to do here. Because you get a value trade here. Unless I go like. Do I ever keep this death rattle? 50-50 on the arbor? 
Maybe I just do this. Maybe I just do this. Four power. Play around AoE a little more. I mean, these are two sticky minions we got on Arbor left. I think I'm just gonna do this and ship this dome. Big top deck here. Juice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's not gonna beat my Arbor up top deck. Honestly, both top decks deal with that rather nicely. They're gonna live one more turn, it looks like, though. Whoa, the cleave. Whoa, the cleave. Arbor up. You're trolling me, dude. You're trolling me, man. Plus two, plus three. Do I even give it to this? If I give it to Mark of the Wall, if I give it to the 4-4, four, four, I bump, I trade, I go face for three. If I give it to this, I go face for four. And get rid of this, though. Arbor up off the top is... Meaning I kind of want to keep as much as I can here, right? I think I do this then. I want to keep the 3-1 alive. I could double trade. No, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And Arbor up should finish this. You know, some scary top decks. Scrapyard Colossus would be a disaster. Not too many other top decks though would be would be that horrible. And they've got a they got a lightning bloom. What does that mean about their deck? Totem. Thank you. Oh, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for constructing me. See you later, Replicat. Look at that. Uh, oh my God, they have Power Mace Replicatatron. That's incredible. That is amazing. Good game. We've got a, quite, a, quite a few really good games here, and I hope that uh, these first couple might have, be showing just how strong Fel Reaver is. Um, if you're looking at that last game being like, oh, that Fel Reaver almost lost you the game, uh, I don't think that's the right way to be looking at this game. You should be going, that Fel Reaver caused the opponent to lose so many resources out of their hand. You know, how many things did they play? They played so many things, ended on a hex, and that's just so many resources out of their hand. Mine are coming from my deck, which I'm not using anyway. Right, we didn't run out of cards. Hmm. Do you wanna keep Mark of the Wild? I guess. I mean, I don't have that many threes, so I might have to play a two drop on turn three. There's, our, there's an Arbor. Nice. Right on, right on. Bright fires. I can, I can, I can dabble with that. Do I coin twos? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say I'll just play my top deck, uh, Raven. That seems fine. Save the coin for that arbor if possible, if possible. Oh wow! And doesn't even hit the minion either. It means they might be coming into hog. Maybe they're coming into turn three hog. Mmm, that's my turn three. And I'm just not playing the coin? Could play Mark of the Wild to play around that hog. Because why aren't you hero powering the Raven? I think I like it. Got a 4 or 5 on the board on turn 2, make their turn 3 tough. Uh, this is also really good against Sunwell Initiate. Uh, that's a little bit rude. All right, I guess the plan is back to just a two drop and then coin, oh, Replicatatron, and then coin Arbor. A little bit of this to deal with a four five they play, right? They might play Scorp on the four two, that'd be unfortunate. But if they play just like a four five, we want that three one down. Um, okay, Grim Necro first, oh my goodness. Grim Necro first? If I arbor here, it's it's a little bit awkward, actually. I think I'm gonna do this. And we'll keep this stealth. They probably trade here, but can they kill both our ones? Chaos Nova could be something. Yeah. All right, all right, Mr. Chaos Nova. I guess we're taking nine. Mmm. Ugh. Chaos Nova. What does that mean for me? It means I'm coining. It means I'm going hero power, taking nine, playing the trog, 
I guess I could play the studies and come to this this next, but then I can't attack with you. And I might want to preserve a discount later. I think I'm going to play the coin and just play the two. Next turn, Arbor, then studies. Too bad I don't get to... I, I don't get to Arbor my Replicat this way, but I think this is fine. Uh, problem now is we Arbor up uh, right into Replicatatron turn. That's better. Or sorry, did I say Replicatatron turn? I'm, 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 I'm on... My, my mind is on Replicatatron. We Arbor up right into Cycle of Hatred turn. My I my professional intuition tells me they did not have cycle of hatred. Going for five. Well, how I took the uh, nature studies over the raven and then ended up with two more ravens. Like that's so good. That's so nice. Frozen shadow weaver. We've got one of our three drops in our hand going first. That is the dream. That's the dream. I don't think you keep the fell reaver. It's unusual. Usually I like to. I want to look for ravens? Nope, 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 nope. I want to look for ravens, and I want to look for fours at this point. So, four drops, where you be? Good stuff going on with my name once again. Sick. Sick, Druid. Points Mana Feeder. Okay, I guess, like, worst case, they bump, maybe clear somehow. We freeze the 2-1 on 3, and then turn 4 is Egg Hero Power to your top deck Arbor. My hunt goes on. My hunt goes on. You coined the Mana Feeder, and you got a follow-up. We know you got a 2-drop. Oh, it goes face. It goes face. Interesting. Interesting. Well, we'll do this. For sure. For sure, for sure. And now next turn, maybe Egg Cub and just value trade? Easy top deck Arbor. Hmm. Herm! The value trade's too good, right? Do... I mean... I'm not hero powering this turn, so we're value trading. We're going freaking Egg... And Cub. Does Cub go... I wish you could hide this, actually. Does Cub go in attack or defense mode? Attack means I can hero power it away, but they could play like a Hog Rancher or a Scorp on it. If they trade here, I've got two attack coming back into it. I guess we'll force them to play there. We'll force them to play their Scorp or their, or their Hog if they have it. Because if they Scorp this, it's just a pretty clean Bomb Lobber anyway. Demons. Nice. Success. Now if we top take an excellent three drop, which we have one of, we can mix in the hero power. Uh, this doesn't seem like a very good bomb lobber, so it might be this, this hero power. Let's see what's in here, because we could buff the egg. Oh. Ah, I see. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna do that, right? I could wait one more turn and go Spectral Arbor next turn, right? Because I can go Sneaky Hero Power. I'm not gonna break open the egg. And then the Sneaky can come in, we can go Spectral Arbor if we wanted to. Or just another Hero Power if it, if it came down to it, like we do this. Let's see if we give him a 5-mana Skull. I think that'd be hilarious if we did. But I think I just want to keep a 3-1 on the board. And that's just such a good Arbor. Arbor Hero Power looks so strong here. Arbor Hero Power. This comes in here. You don't trade it off first, unfor kind of, unfortunately. Oh, baby. Oh man, imagine having three drafted Arbor Ups and just discovering one anyway.
Okay, so we're 5-0. Apologies for the skip that I'm guessing you probably just experienced. Um, Streamlabs crashed on me mid-recording and frightened the shit out of me because it told me the uh, file was now corrupted. It told me the video had corrupted until I restarted Streamlabs. So what happened at the end of that game is I played Druid of the Plains and attacked their 5-4 and they conceded immediately. So you missed like 15 seconds. Apologies. Oh, I'm just, God, I'm relieved. Could you imagine if the whole video were, were scratched? This deck is so good. This deck is so great. So nerve-wracking. <sighs> Going for six. Next game. Everyone, everyone stay calm. Everyone stay calm. Oh, man, what a fright. You guys, I know for you guys, it was just a boom, skip, instantly next game. For me, it was a whole ordeal. It was a whole several-minute ordeal. Like, four minutes. This deck needs to be shared, <laughs> right? This deck needs to be shared. Here we go. Grim Necro, Groundskeeper, Stuart of Skrulls. Oh, here's a problem. Here's a problem. 5-0 Priest. 5-0 Priest. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nature Studies, Trog, Frozen Shadow Weaver, Arbor on 4. That seems better. That seems better. <laughs> what is this? Mark of the Wild, Celestial Alignment, or Pride's Fury. A two and a three and a four makes me, you know, turn three Pride's Fury, no. Turn five, three mana Pride's Fury. I think that's gonna be more impactful than the mark against a, a priest. And priest might, might be slow enough to let us get an early board with Plans of Hysteria, which actually still would be a big problem. Nice coin, my dude. Shadow Weaver next. Groundskeeper after that. Missing out on the five healing. Like, this is typical. A good priest would have healed my face and emoted. But, like, we're just gonna play tempo and they're just gonna play one hysteria and win? Is that the plan here? Light bomb? What are we doing? What are we doing? Maybe they were just gonna coin threes and they didn't want to after I played the two three. Whoa, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a big problem. If that's Ysera Awakens, they probably have already won. Um, if it's Dream, then we're going to be in, in some trouble as well. We just got to hope that they get some Laughing Sisters, right? Let's see if they hover over it immediately. RNG Dream cards. I mean, Hysteria would also be a problem. Oh, interesting. Coin, Smite, Coin... Dream, no, dude. No, that's so good. That's so good. My pride's a fury. Okay, well, we can discover, we can get our healing after all one day. Nothing to play but this, I think. Grab ourselves. Again, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Raven, Raven, pet, pet. Runic is nice against almost every class that's tempo. Priest, I'm not so sure. I kind of just want to re-roll, to be honest. We're not playing any cards this turn, so I don't think there's any need to share the information that we have a nature, another nature studies. We'll just hold it. Sure, fish in, and that's it. That's it, you say? Special delivery. Maybe I get something that costs two. Mark of the Spike Shell? Guidance or Lunar Eclipse? Could consider like two drop Lunar Prides. And then I can ship Dome. I always ship Dome. Maybe I just go for the Guidance. Is there a minute Guidance? I don't really want to overload this turn though. Maybe it should just be the Lunar Play. Yeah, I don't think we need the Guidance here. We go like this. Like this. And like this. That seems pretty good. No Overload, we can come into the Druid of the Plains. We've got Removal in the Bomb Lobber as well, if that makes more sense. A big beefy Reaver. Uh, get that out of my face. Get that out of my face, okay. Typical cheating priest card. That's a really, really good board to play this on. 
Uh, we could just put them back to 12 with the same board. Could put them back to 12 with the same board with just a Druid of the Plains. Or we could Hero Power Twilight Runner. I think we want to save this. Probably. Or Fel Reaver, I guess, right? Twilight Runner or Fel Reaver? I'm looking for Arbors. I think I'm looking for Arbors. I got three of them, right? Come on. Come on. And Hysteria on the 4-5, or... They would have played a Hysteria before Light Shower Elemental, surely. At some point, right? Could scream this, I guess. That's a big heal. This gives them time to play some more Busted Priest stuff. If they have a Psychic Scream... They have so many cards, right? They could have a Scream, a Death for the Reaver... And then we're kind of just running out of steam. What? Is a uh, loon's will. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's not like they need more cards. Interesting. Start with this, of course. DID and egg, you say. Well, it better be time for you. A little bit of light bomb action coming in our way. Do I want to play around light bomb? We're already developing a lot of stats. We could instead play the groundskeeper here instead of the fell reaver. Fell reaver is more power. Groundkeeper sets up lethal anyway and plays around light bomb. Let's do that instead. Let's do that instead. Four attack surviving the light bomb. Nova? Nova Condemn? Oh, no way! No way! That's insane! Another 6-6 six, six for my Druid of the Plains not to handle. Uh, gotta be this now, right? Gotta be this now. That's crazy. That's crazy. Give me an Arbor off the top and we got lethal. And a Light Bomb now. A Death now. Just Priest has so many answers. Narelex was great. Light Shower and Elemental was actually great. Claw Machine was decent. What else? What else? Stop. Ping? Ping or not? Nah? No Arbor's gone. Og? One Arbor gone. Nice to get rid of Innervate. Laughing Sister, nice. And two Arbors left in the deck is quite lucky here. Seven cards, two of them are Arbors. Odds are okay that we draw one here. Damn, that sucks. Come on. Come on. One damage off lethal, too. One damage off. It's simply... I mean, we have no cards left. The Arbors are gone, right? The Arbors are gone. It's gotta be just... Oh, boy. Come on, one damage. One damage, Mark of the Wild, Arbor, Arbor. And we just couldn't get there. Gotta be this. Gotta be this. Should I hero power? I think I wanna get the egg out there. I'm gonna need, they have the, the, they have the heal, so it's not like I'm really setting up the hero power lethal. Give them something for the Tarajo to hit. A nice egg instead of our 8-8. And let's see if this is enough. What's the play? Priest? My egg! Wow, should have hero powered. <laughs> okay, so we have no cards. Our egg is gone. But you can't handle this board for four mana? No way you can! What are you gonna do? Play a fishy flyer? What are you gonna do? Play a fishy flyer? We still have a chance to win. It's the six. You fish into the four four. You fish for spectral into the four four is the idea. But you, you, you can't heal. It's always lethal with our hero power. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Wow, another D-Breaker, but not enough. Not quite enough. Fell Reaver too strong. GG, another close one.
Always, uh, those games where you play the Fell Reavers and run out of cards are always so tense. And we're going for 7-0. Here we go. Here we go. Wandmaker, uh, Wandmaker is a nice keep. Can be a 2-3. slash three. Fills in curve nicely, which we need. Um, going second... Nope, 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 nope. 6-0 Rogue is pretty terrifying. Do you think we're going to see a um, efficient is sufficient coming in early? Do be cautious when playing with fire today. Got an arbor. Nice curve and an arbor seems good. Just going ahead and daggering that right away. Killing it over two turns. Unless we decided we wanted to mark it. Instead of playing one of these. You always have the option to keep your egg for Arbor. What are they going to develop for three? I do like this. I feel like this is just a nice, powerful early play, right? I mean, a 4-4, four, four, a 4-5 four, this early is tough to handle. All of a sudden, your your powerful three drops are not as good. I mean, you play a 4-4. Four, four, okay, that, that is a, a pretty powerful uh, three drop, and it is pretty good here. But stuff like Sun Will Initiate gets, uh, gets pretty wrecked. Put the egg on the board. Let's see what's in here first. It'd be adorable. Nice. 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 Let's keep the option of Coining Arbor. And just do this. Seems good. Multiple buffs coming in on targets that aren't my egg, but with Arbor, I think we're okay with that. If we coin Arbor, if we actually get a good coin Arbor here, Ogre has to go face, which it does quite often, right? Thonk. Okay, nice hit. Nice hit. That still, that still could be an Arbor and 1-1 one, one goes in there. But then if we do that, we wouldn't need the, uh, we wouldn't really need the egg. Okay. This trade... This trade for sure. For sure? For sure? Is it for sure? I think it is. I'm gonna egg hero power. Or I could just Grim Necro. Probably just this. Just get nice and wide, come into the, a nice arbor up. This is more how I thought most of our games would go, assuming that nothing crazy happens here. Hogs on the loose. Wriggling, going for the trade. Still Arbor? Still Arbor and give some wax? Arbor is pretty good. It's pretty good, it's pretty good, I think so. Is it worth the coin coming into these, like this seven? It probably is. You can also just play Teacher's Pet. <laughs> you can also just play Teacher's Pet and trade these off. That's pretty strong too. Arbor, bump, bump, lots of different ideas here. You know, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Teacher's Pet is really, really strong. And then we have options of Cub or uh, Coin Egg into Arbor, or we have Coin Druid. Which Coin Druid of the, uh, of the planes looks reasonable here. Some might say it wins the game on the spot, even without the two arbors. Don't really see a, a reason to trade here. Gross! I mean, that's so good, right? Like, it's so, so strong. Look at this deck. Runner, arbor, arbor. Druid, druid. Teachers, teachers. Might as well just top deck my second druid of the planes at this, at this rate. Okay, okay, fine, I guess. Wait, do we have, how much damage do we have? This could go face if I were to do this hero power. I think I can just make that trade though. Do a little bit of this. Yep, 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 yep. This was, uh, this was not who this rogue wanted to, to match into, right? There's no way, there's no way you beat what we just did. There's no way. 
Even that MVP, a little bit, goes to Mark of the Wild, taking that, uh, you know, taking that tempo nice and early. Do they want to leave, or do they want to see my second arbor? Up to you. We just play it quick. We play it quick, show them. We couldn't quite show them the third one, but we let them know that they super, super had no chance. Maybe they don't feel quite as bad. What do you guys think? Do they feel worse for seeing it? 7-0. Going for 8. Like, what? I can't, be I can't believe at the beginning of the video, I was like, I think we're just going to draft a busted druid today. Like, just no problem. I should say that every day. I haven't seen Dark Spear Berserk a little, in a little time. What's our uh, what's our third card here? The Egg. Another Rogue as well. What the heck? What are you guys doing up here? I think I tossed the Egg. These cards are so strong. I, I just want to keep them. Nature Studies is real nice to see. Turn one going first. Raven's better, but turn four Arbors potentially. This into this into Spectral into this. Hmm. Turn two four four. Turn two four four. It's not like I'm playing this on this board. I guess we take landscaping and then we kind of just decide what we're gonna do. Two mana four four is pretty nuts. I mean, Sigil of Summoning is amazing. So you know that's that this is real real strong. Swash Burglar, very cool. All right. This definitely matches into the board a lot better than Sneaky at the moment. Probably just going to be an off-curve Sneaky next turn. Maybe we're lucky enough to draw a uh, Raven. Or Innervate. Innervate would be really good here, too. We haven't gotten to play Replicatatron, like, at all this run. I guess that's what happens when you have so many other premium cards, too. You just win before you need it. But this is a pretty good deck for Replicat. All right, not the strongest turn three, but, you know, that's the downside of this deck. That's what we get for drafting so many good fives. Whoa! Double swash. Oh, my goodness. Now they have two armor ups. The double swash. You, lo you love to see it. You love to see it. I wonder if they, if they hit with the weapon. Oh, my goodness. Or even if they don't, if we ever want to play Groundskeeper just to get the taunt out. I doubt it. Dark Spear Berserker is too good. Swash, Swash, Wand Thief. Technically, this is just a constructed deck so far, you know? What else, what else do we have? When they do hit, they do hit, they do hit, they do hit. They do hit. Uh, it's still probably just this, this, chill with the 3-1. Coming to the Fell Reaver, I mean, four mana, five, seven, five mana, eight, eight. They do have a mage spell now. Could be devolving. Coerces, assassinates. If, if they need hard removal at this point. Why? Why you do this? I don't understand. Derailed Coaster, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you know I don't got any AoE. You know I don't. Okay. I mean... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I got stats. Let's see your removal. Let's see what removal you have. We got two big beefers on the board. Drailed Coaster is extremely strong. What was that? How many stats was that? They played just as many stats as this, right? They played a 5 minute 8-7 with Rush. Kind of. That doesn't destroy their deck. So definitely better than this. Typical. That's the perfect spell from One Thief here. Just perfect. Unreal. This is what. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video in the in the draft. I talked about how like one in every 25, 30 games you'll just get like frozen by mages and they'll just run you out of cards and win. Surely that's not going to happen here. Surely we're still okay. Those, those aren't mechs. Those aren't mechs. What is the meaning of this? What? Two arbors, dude? What is that? Fell Reaver, you're fired, man. Arbor, arbor, drew to the plains? Get out of my kitchen. This is very concerning. Why did you play a junk bot? 
Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Um, a little bit of this. A little bit of this. We still have so many stats. You froze once. What else do you have? What an interesting turn. Why Junkbot? Like, how do you have all those cards and Junkbot is your best play? You gotta have a bunch of late game. Okay, they're going after the Reaver. Uh oh, the synergy. Here it comes. There's the mech. Wandmaker, Hog, Rancher, and Cub. See you later. What else? Got Lethal on the board, so they're, they're gonna have to make some trades here. That's pretty strong from Swash. Three minute deal four. There was our last Arbor. Our opponent's probably just looking like, what the? Did I just burn three Arbor ups for my opponent's deck? <laughs> we did keep our Teacher's Pet and our uh, Teacher's Pet, Teacher's Pet. And Twilight is still fine with nine cards left. So that's good. And we still have way more stats than our opponent. So, all in all, I'd say this was a successful Fel Reaver. Innervate, we could have burned you instead of one of our three Arbors, you know. Eight to the dome? I mean, you gotta remember this is getting buffed if you kill this. But I guess what you'd do then is you'd do this. You'd play the Druid anyway, right? Play the Druid no matter what and just ship dome. It's either that or you would trade with the five, but I really want this five to go face, don't I? I could play 4 2 2 instead. That's. That's interesting. More trades. It's a rogue. They it, they can't get to Deathwing. I guess we could do that. We go like this. Like this. Like this. And the Innervate's never going to be good again. Might as well just get the egg on the board. For what, though? We have no... Well, we have DID. DID top deck. The only reason I might consider holding it is uh, honestly just not to let our opponent know that two of our cards are kind of useless, right? Innervate and Egg. I think I'd rather get it on board, though. Um, DID would be lethal. Other than that, we just have so many stats, and we've seen what their plays are. It's gonna be a big taunt here. Sure, we can just ignore that, to be honest. It's either that or what? Trade a 3-1 and a 1-1 one, one in. Oh, special delivery. Okay. Means we're not playing this. That's fine. Ooh, that's not very strong. Decent. Maybe, like, Fel Reaver has been play played so much this run that I might, in my thumbnail of eggs in an arbor up field, I might have to just throw a giant Fel Reaver in there too, I guess. Right? Because he's, he's been everywhere. He's been all over the place. 8-0. We're going for 9. I mean, it's a triple arbor up deck. We, we, you know, I mean, not not too shocking, I think, right? There you go. Going for 9. Good stuff. Cub, Hog, maybe Replicatatron finally gets a chance to shine. Like another Druid. It's a little tough against another Druid with the coin. This definitely goes. I probably keep the Replicat. Strong enough to keep. Fel Reaver does not uh, fit this kind of start super well. We could go two three coin Fel Reaver, I guess. Man, this Fel Reaver is just in every starting hand here, right? Fel Reaver is a good one against a Druid. No hard removal. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. No one drop for ourselves. Could have traded a Raven for a Worgen. That would have been fine. How many Arbors do you think they have? Four? All right, Cub as a 2-3 then? 
Cub has a 2-3. Gets two things out of the way there. Going second is a little scary with a, against a Druid. One and two off the, off the start here. A three as well. Holy. Oh my god. Adorable? Yeah, so going going uh, second here was disastrous. Going second here is dis was disastrous, and it might just be... Depending on what those two cards are, I'm gonna have a hard time swinging this back at, at all here. It's gotta be Hog. And they run the 2-1 back in. They keep three 1-1s. Pride's Fury, we're done for. This is one where, yeah, uh, we, we really needed to learn to not have the coin this game. Really good tempo. Really good tempo. Probably a very light deck. Another couple of twos. Uh, but Druid has no AoE. Druid has no AoE, so there's really nothing we can do but just take a billion damage here, right? Replicat can't come down. We've got a coin. I mean, you coin Fell Reaver, and they're going to win the face race. So... Coin Fell Reaver to take out whatever they top deck. They're dealing 8, we're down to 11. It's just not going to work. So what can Nature Studies do for you? What can Steward of Scrolls do for you? Uh, it just looks like this is just a very, very early loss. And these kinds of losses happen uh, a lot more when you do have the coin. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. This into some sort of dunt, like Iron Bark for the Fell Reaver one day. Doesn't seem like it's ever going to work, but Fell Reaver, they just go face and ignore everything. Um, gain 8 armor, is that going to make sense anytime? Nature Studies with Solar. I think you're going to have to go for a double spell here. That's not very good. Arbor Up? Arbor Up just to end it? No way, right? Initiate. Still really strong. At least the Initiate causes uh, a double trade. And they do tempo that as well. It's too much. It's too much. Can we make it to the Druid of the Plains? And should I play Fell Reaver? Probably not. I should probably play a Bomb Lobber. Just snipe this. Ah, oh, but if I miss, 20% success rate is not very good. I think you start with Nature Studies. Uh, solar Nature Studies. Like, what do we even? What do we even get? Lunar doesn't do much here. We Studies, Solar, something that costs three. Armor, double armor, maybe? Oh, come on, really? Those are some pretty terrible discovers. Yeah, that's awful. That's awful. That's terrible. Like, I just, I just need to negate it. I just need to negate it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and uh, you gotta snipe the 3-4 here, right? That's the only way. This isn't good enough. Snipe the 3-1. I guess this prompts a trade. So we literally just played Nature Studies only to innervate to get our mana back. It was one mana discard a card. Horrible. We needed a taunt there. We needed to go first. We could have used an Arbor, but even that wouldn't have been good enough in this game. Just destroyed. Just destroyed here. And uh, there's no way to survive the turn, so let's get out of here. Wow! That's a tough one. Again, I, I really think if we go first, uh, we have a chance in this one. But uh, zero, zero chance with that kind of that kind of start. But they have a better curve than us, that's for sure, right? So, I mean, going first or second, they're rewarded for drafting a, a good curve, right? We, we uh, have awkward. We even got to play a, a turn three, actually, but our, our curve out is still... Usually not as good as that. That adorable infestation was insane. Knob Gobbler? Oh god. Now we're playing Knob Gobbler Hunter? This is also not going to be easy, but we learned from our mistake last game, and this game we do not have the coin. That was very wise of us. And uh, very possible we'll see the distinct difference of what that means in a tempo v tempo match as Druid v Druid and Druid v Hunter are. Okay, well, we got a good turn five coming. It's a two, three, pretty solid. Um, play another two. We play this. We still play our minion. No need to just hero power and let them develop the first thing. They can value trade. At least this can test their next play. Hmm. 
Nature studies hero power. Nature studies hero power. Seems fine. Um, <laughs> Tree of life against a hunter? Better be the guidance. Dark whispers is pretty good too. Better be the guidance. We'll do this. We'll do this. Will we do that? I think we will. We could try to... Do we want to take three damage just in case Arbor and trade into a three is better? Maybe we do. This might broadcast that we're thinking about Arbor. But that's okay. Uh, often you can know your opponent's going to play an Arbor and there's still really not much you can do about it. Right, this way they play a 3-4. Um, they're going to just not do anything. Okay, that works. They're going to go ahead and miss turn 3. That's fine by me. Um, so yeah, we'll just we'll just trade. We'll play the 4-mana Arbor, right? It's a 4-mana 8-6. I think that's still fine, even though we don't hit anything else. And uh, it's also very good coming into yet another Arbor. They probably play, like, Flanking Strike here. Quick shots, not double quick shots, surely. They don't have a 2, so they're hero-powering. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, 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 both of these are so good. I think I'm doing this. I think I'm doing the Fell Reaver over the Arbor here. Probably just turn six Arbor is fine. I don't think we're going Grim Necro Spectral, are we? Are we getting that greedy? I mean, if they don't kill the 8-8, we just Arbor, it's over, right? See ya, Innervate. See ya, Mark. See ya, Hog. Um, oof, I mean, it's oh, it's oh, we can do whatever, we can do whatever we want, right? What do you do here? They missed turn three, we went first, and they missed turn three, and we have two arbors, <laughs> so and and uh, and a fell reaver. What a what an insane couple of games, just absolutely destroyed by that druid, and then absolutely destroying this hunter. And the coin probably playing a big part of it, but so did Curve, right? Two elephants? Right, that druid had amazing Curve. There goes an Arbor, they see another Arbor. How about this Arbor? Arbor, Arbor, Arbor. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. That's three. That's three, man. Yeesh. Big yeesh. Yeah, our opponent, uh, Knob Gobbler, did not stand a chance here. There's no way, right? There's nothing you could have done. Uh, I mean, you could have hit a turn three, but even then. But even then, we'll show you this. Did you leave? Hello, game? Uh, hello, game? Hacks? Hello? Man, technology is not on my side today. They're gonna concede, right? Recording's still fine. I literally had Streamlabs crash, and now this? It's gonna be quite the YouTube special. We're firing it up on the old phone here. I swear, I, I, I have all the latest... <laughs> what is this? I have all the latest gadgets, the modern technology. I... I, I... Alright, you guys ready for some premium content? Get it full screen? I'm gonna get it full screen. There we go. That's premium content! Imagine I lose this? I'm gonna be furious. I was- was I reconnected? Was I reconnected? Is that true? Was I? Was I really? Hello, game? I'm gonna lose this game and lose my mind. I'm starting to suspect I actually was not reconnected to the game. Maybe it's having this problem because they conceded. And we won. I'm calling hacks. Unable to reconnect the game. That means they quit. That means they quit. Premium content. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Nine wins. Ah. And that's an easy dub. Poof, that's an easy dub. I. It might have appeared to our opponent that we were BMing the crap out of them if they didn't concede right away. They might have let the rope roll a little bit and then be like, okay, this guy's BMing and they might have conceded. This is why, you know, you don't necessarily just get super mad at your opponent for roping when you've, uh, you know, at the very end, because sometimes that happens, so it's not always your opponent is, is being a dick. Uh, right, sorry, sorry, Knob Gobbler, nothing I could do.
Going for 10. What's the next technological mishap? Is there like some sort of... Is it a full moon today? Is there some sort of uh, you know, lightning, uh, an electronic storm through the air? I, uh, what is... what? Nature Studies, One Maker, Berserker, Twilight Runner. Pretty good start. Oh, nope. No thank you. Nine and one priest? I'd rather not, if you don't mind. Um, nature Studies on one is sometimes pretty awkward. I, I've got so many good fives, I'm just going to look for cheaper stuff. Okay. But with Wandmaker, it could make sense, right? You you Nature Studies, then on the next turn you Wandmaker, and you have another option for your discount. Um, although... Turn two very well could be Coin Innervate Berserker. Which begs the question, is it worth playing Nature Studies just to get a spell? Probably not, right? Probably not, actually. Because you'd preserve your discount and be able to play it any time for any situation later. So Raven off the top, just to make my life easy. Okay, well, we've got a new target for Coin Innervate, but that'd be on turn three. Because you can't actually play this for four mana, right? You're coining Innervating. So we'll go ahead and Nature Studies. We'll grab ourselves a... We could consider Force of Nature. We could get the Force of Nature out there before Arbor. It's probably still Mark of the Spike Shell, though. Probably still Mark of the Spike Shell. The discount's fine. Um, one minute, two minute, two two. We got a, we got teachers' pets for later, right? If we get there. I mean, they got condemn. They've got. Uh, hmm. hmm. This lets me use my. This lets me use my discount. But I could just do this, and the next turn, coin innervate arbor, clear any t three they play pretty well. I guess Wandmaker would too. The problem with Wandmaker is that they play Hog Rancher. I'm a little bit sad. But they might play Sunwell Initiate. I'd be really happy. Alright, let's go for it. Let's see what it is. Let's use our discount. Okay, or not. Whichever. <laughs> I guess we're not using our discount. I guess I could get Partner Assignment, so I will play it now. Lunar. Okay... What about this? Nah, it's not quite it's not quite there. It's not quite there. It's a lot of spells, but we have to use the coin or innervate to get it out next turn. Oh baby. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Question is, do I lunar as well? Because I've got the mark too. In that case, no, it doesn't work. I can't use the discount. I've got to do this. I could Lunar. I think I will. Yeesh. That's pretty good. That's pretty strong. Into Berserker, into another Arbor, maybe? Innervate, baby. This is kind of exactly the... Um, circumstance I was imagining when we talked about, uh, oh boy, taking the, um, so you, you just do this, right? Come on. No need for this. You just do this. And honestly, play around the AoE? Like, what do you do here? I, I arbor again. What, what can you do? What can you do? It's just such a clean trade there, that 6-5, and you don't allow them to have multiple good trades with their 3-6. It seems so strong. Yeah, that's kind of the exact circumstance as a matching with Innervate, just getting those busted cards out just a little bit earlier. And when cards as busted as Arbor come out a little bit earlier, it often just ends the game. And I mean, this is this is lethal, right? We just win here. They played two cards and the game is just over. You could Hysteria a 4-3 and hit the 2-3 and the 6-2, I guess. And we still Arbor. We still Arbor and go face for, for 6. And you have to have another one. And then even if you do have a second hysteria, we're still ahead. Hey, I was joking. 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 
Okay, missed the 2 3. Another Hysteria, and you're dead. I guess you Hysteria the 6 4 and heal, and you live by 2. Or live by 1 after hero power. Light Bomb. Light Bomb. Light Bomb's good. I didn't have Light Bomb. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. Close game. Close game. That's just nasty. <laughs> that is just nasty stuff there. 10-1. It's so incredible. We win 10 wins, we lose... Or, yeah, we get 10 wins, we lose once. And that one loss, we just get so destroyed. Going for 11. Going for 11. Going for 11 wins. This deck is nasty. Oh, friend request. Viewer discretion is advised. I never turn down a friend request. I might not show it. I might edit it out. Yes? Yes? Viewer discretion is advised. Do you think they want to be my friend? Streaming? Oh, they know me. Back to my incognito mode. We made a friend today. Who's next? We got Replicat. Uh-oh, another Druid. In fact, we are 0% win rate against Druid <laughs> against the mirror matches here. I want to keep Arbor. I do, but this deck just does not have the curve to ever support this. You got to get rid of it all. You got three Arbors. Egg Arbor? Oh, God, yes. Oh, God, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about right there. The old Egg Arbor. And we go first. And we go first, which is, is big in Tempo v Tempo. Raven, you're late. Uh, we just play Wandmaker, maybe Raven, uh, Egg. Resizing Pouch is great if this game goes a little longer than it looks like it will. We'll see. Resizing Pouch is great for a 9-drop. Well, imagine if I got Adorable Infestation, though. Imagine if I went for it anyways. One mana, Adorable Infestation. One costs. Next turn could be this. Work, 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 work. Adorable infestation is so good, but what are the odds of actually hitting it? Probably pretty low. There's a lot of ones. Probably just this. It's just this. I mean, they trade off the peon. Um, they leave it as a two one. They develop a three. You come in with the did on the egg into the two one, or you come in with the did on the two two into a three four. Both are really really strong options. There's the trade. And what's it gonna be? Hovering over the spell? It's probably a, a terrible garbage spell. Okay, freezes the 2 2. Little rude, because now we can DID into this and remove this, and that's great. But the 4 3 is a rude uh, stat line against a couple of 4 4s. That's, that's okay though, right? They do. If they, if they arbor up, they'd value trade. Would we arbor up right after? Probably not. We'd probably just trade off that that 6-2 or whatever and just drop the teacher's pet against it. See if they were waiting on coin arbor. If we keep two things alive, a 4-4 four, four, and a 2-2, two, two, they trade to develop a 4. It's, it, we just, we'd slam the arbor, definitely. And with how strong this deck is, Lunar? So they're gonna clear two things. What does that mean? What does that mean for us? Still, Arbor is extremely strong. Hmm, Twirtles even. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, now we're gonna do this for sure. I was probably gonna do this anyways. Protect your 2-1. This is tough to, to handle, even if you lovely day into it. Your 1-2 trades here, you still come into Raven Arbor. I was gonna say maybe Resizing Pouch was gonna happen. Oh, this is so sad. This is so sad. Coin for the taunt? Oh, this is so, so sad. Oh, no. 
Oh no, into Druid of the Plains, into Resizing Pouch, into Nature Studies. Oh, how did we lose a game? <laughs> we lost the game uh, the way we thought we would with this deck, right? We have two threes. We just got out curved hard in our loss. You know, that's 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 how um, a 12-0 deck has to be pretty spectacular. This is pretty spectacular, but it's card quality. Don't be fooled by just the card quality. It's an incredible deck. 12-0 is tougher with this deck than some with a little bit less quality just because you have five three drops and five twos, right? This th this lacks that. So 12-1, maybe. Um, this is just unreal. This is alright. You just play this. I mean, it's 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 Druid. They don't have removal. They don't have the removal. There's nothing they can do here. Still sitting on the on the pouch and the studies. Crazy, 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 crazy. Scorp is fun. I haven't, dra I haven't drafted a Scorp in 17 years, I think. It's been a long time. Nature studies from Scorp. Like, what are you looking for, right? You're just looking for something because you know your hand doesn't win, but you, you really... There isn't anything. Germination on your po po uh, poison here? Is that is that what we're doing? Yeah. 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 11 and 1... <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking about it. This deck absolutely could have gone 12-0. But a little bit more luck than some, but it absolutely could have gone 12-0. Shouldn't say too much, though, because we're going for 12-1. I have lost two in a row at 11-1 many, many times before. So let's try not to make this one of them. The deck is insane. Three arbors. Like, that just is... That just does not happen very often. Is anybody out there? Who's it gonna be? First shot at final boss, maybe a, maybe it'll be a warrior. I don't think we've played it. Have we played a warrior this run? One, maybe zero? Warriors have some pretty strong decks up at high winds. Maybe that's what we're going to play. Maybe they'll play a Ganarg on one and I'll complain. That could be fun. Remember that game at zero, zero against that mage and how freaking close it was? I remember. I remember. That was whack. And we're all the way at 11-1. What a world we live in. Oh. 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 It's loading stuff. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Innervate. DID. Grim Necromancer. I knew it was going to be a warrior. Oh, it's bad puns. I know bad puns. Didn't we play bad puns in a different YouTube video as well? I think we did. Um, I would love to keep Innervate, honestly. If I had, like, any plays on two or anything. Um, Egg, <laughs> Teacher's Pet, and Planes? Oh, boy. All right, only bad puns. Did you destroy me last time? For some reason, that's what I'm remembering. That's what I'm remembering. No Ganard, certainly. We're gonna need to find some, uh, cards to play pretty quickly, <laughs> or we could be in some trouble. Hey, can I stop my work? Oh. Well, that's not a Ganarg, but it is actually pretty good here. I cannot, I can't do anything about it for a while is what I was going to say. That's a really, really good top deck. Oof. Oof. Maybe Hog off the top too? Oh, and you get the Divine Shield one too, man. That's very rude of you. That is very rude of you. I got to just, uh, I just got to do this. Sorry, Egg. Wow. If that were a different 2-2, I could have thrown down the egg. That's a big loss. That's a big loss. Really strong adventurer. Coin still may be awkward for uh, for our opponent. And our next couple turns are, admittedly, even after hero powering on three, looking pretty strong. Not anymore, though. Are you serious? My berserker is useless now. Bad puns. Come on, just throw for me. What are you doing? Throw, dude. Innervate 5? I could go Innervate Stealth instead. I could even give them this. If I were to Innervate, what am I doing next turn? Just another 5. So, I probably actually do this, right? Give them the Taunt. Here, you can have the Taunt. We'll grab the 3-cost Beast. There are a lot of really good 3-cost Beasts. It's really only Owl that's the big miss. 
And then uh, Pat Cotto, second miss. But 3-3, three, three, sure, it's tempo. Um, and then we come into Twilight Runner. It's fine. Into Berserker, I mean, into Berserker Egg, into Planes. You got Curve here. Good job, Innervate. Here comes Bump and then Sword Eater. Or perhaps Quarreling Combatant. They do have like a billion cards. <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness, this is 11 and 1. I play Innervate, opponent plays Owl. You gotta love it, right? Very strong. Very strong. They're gonna go for the value trade though? Oh, Jesus! Nice! No wonder! Incredible! Incredible. How do I handle that? I don't want to play off curve, right? I just play the Twilight Runner and come into Hero Power. Oh, but they're going to remove it. I can't Hero Power this turn. I just can't do that. So I can value trade here and drop the Grim Necromancer. Whirling Combatant comes in. That's okay. Or I could just Twilight Runner bump. I think I, I think I'd Twilight Runner here. Twilight Runner bump. They probably play something that gives them a War Axe, clear it. I use the 5-4 into whatever that is. Drop the Grim Necker on the egg, maybe? What's it gonna be? Coin still in hand as well is, is pretty scary. There's Lovely Day. So they chose to silence instead of Lovely Day. Just thinking that's probably better to get those beasts out of there. There's Arbor, very, very solid. Of course, we're gonna draw a couple cards first. Through to the planes and DID. So you know what? This is coming in here, right? So we don't need to drop the egg here, do we? I guess we can always pop the egg after the arbor. Because we kind of want to hero power that, right? We can go uh, Grim Necro. Grim Necro. <sighs> With those ones that are trading in here anyway, kind of just want to play the egg. Let's see what happens. You've seen Egg, Innervate, and Owl all at 11-1. I, I just, you just love it, right? Like, there are certain cards that are known not to necessarily be top tier, but just find their place as something that you don't have in the deck, right? Like, Innervate up against, say, a strong 5, like a 6-7. I actually forget what it was up against. It's just better for the deck, because we have plenty of strong 5s. So just take something that does something a little bit different. Okay, stacking up on some more cards. Bulk up now, do it. Information bulk up. Let's see it. Slam. Really? Really? Wait, what? Nature? 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 I should know this. I'm a pro, dude. Holy... Is it, um, nature? Mm, something about poisons? Nitro boost poison wouldn't be nature, would it? Um, spell stone? Some of the other spell stones were nature. Those are golems. Why don't I know this? I'm a pro, dude. All right, well, Arbor Up. Speaking of being a pro, I'm just going to play Arbor Up. And hero power... Run this in here. Hero power in here. And let's see if they have like Rancor or like, I don't know, what do you need here? Show me your nature spell. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I'm looking it up after the game, right? Well, there can't be that many. Nature for warrior. Whirlwind. Whirlwind? Whirlwind? Ex not execute. Right? Like a whirlwind would be something you see in nature. Oh, this is so greasy. This is so greasy, dude. Yeah, bad puns. I win this round. Uh, not really, again, like, you, your deck just was not good enough to, to handle this deck, right? There's no way. All the informations. I had that, you know, a lot of value going on here. But it seems like, especially with that uh, owl play, it doesn't seem like they really had much going on in the tempo department. Could be, um, could be a little problem in draws there. Could be a tough, tough set of draws. 
Because you imagine at 11 1 they have some three drops, although <laughs> maybe not, not always. All right, really, really good run. Uh, kind of, uh, I'm still kind of reeling at uh, walking in here, being like, huh. I think I'm gonna draft a busted druid today. And then like we did exactly that. This deck is unreal. The only weakness being, uh, you know, take maybe one of the fives away, you know, and, and add a three drop, maybe a, a five away and even a seven away. I mean, they're strong cards, but Replicatatron didn't really uh, get to see any play in this run, unfortunately. Um, it was, you know, too busy watching Arbor Up, Arbor Up, Arbor Up, uh, you know, be played. So that's fair enough. That's fair enough. GG's. 13 game run on episode 13. I did say 13 wins. It's kind of the same. Similar idea. Bringing the win rate of Innervate up a lot seems good. Really happy to be able to share that one. I mean, sometimes you draft a deck um, off stream. Say, if I'm not on streaming on Twitch, I draft a deck and I'm not recording either. And I'm like, oh, that is one I'd love to share uh, with some people. So I start the recording, get that list offered. And it's like, this is going to be good. Insane run. Insane draft. Thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time. My name is Judge. Whose name is Judge? My name is. Whose name is Judge? My name is. That's a silly name. Judge. Okay, that's enough.